What's up, Pierce? This is Bob from Pierce Motorsports. Let's talk about the most common question I get asked these days. Okay, so recently in the last probably eight to 12 months, I've been asked this question multiple times. I get it. At this point, it's almost every week. As a matter of fact, I'm having this exact conversation with a friend of mine, Jay, about a set of wheels. All the questions I get, I get links sent to me all the time. Hey, will these fit my Celine? Hey, are these the correct offsets? Hey, is this the right style? Hey, so just fill in the blank. And with these cars, because of the brake setup and the wheels that were put on them, there's a specific offset and a specific width to the wheels. And I'm talking about 87 to 93s. I don't have any of the four lug 85, 86 wheels around to measure. So what I'm looking at are the five spoke ARE wheels that were a standard option from 89 to 91. They were also an option in 1988. Uh, don't believe they came on any 87s, but I could be wrong. And then I'm also looking at the undisputable, the king of kings, the best jewelry you could put on a Fox Celine according to the masses, the three-piece sterns. So part of this video I actually did oh a year and a half ago and I just didn't think it was I didn't think it was good enough to put out but now that everybody wants to know about the details um, let's look at them so I'm gonna explain to you wheel widths and that kind of stuff and I'm making some assumptions here that you know what the difference between backspacing and offset is if you want me to get into deeper details uh, as far as that, let me know. But I did make some assumptions when I recorded this video. Uh, I'll also talk to you about the three-piece stirrers at the end because there are specific parts of it. Um, but first, let's look at the ARE wheels. And again, this was done like two summers ago at this point. So um, you'll notice a little different in the facial hair. So let's start with the five-spoke ARE wheels. And it was the ones we put on this car. So uh, we painted them red, but uh, take a look at those and we'll talk about the widths and offsets specific to those and then we'll come back and talk specifically about the three-piece starters. This is a front. This is a rear. I think it's obvious this one is narrower than this one. A seven inch front wheel typically measures eight inches in width the seven inch measurement is actually from bead surface to bead mounting surface from here to here so if we take the measuring tape and you see that's seven inches um, wheel widths from lip from edge to edge lip to lip are typically an inch or so wider. Um, if you look at the rear, you see there, it measures nine inch, but if we go from bead to bead, where the tire mounts, it's actually eight inches. So when people are talking about eight inch rims and nine inch rims, you're actually talking about the bead mounting surface of the tire from edge to edge. Front wheels have a much larger lip. You can see there that one's about two and a half inches, give or take. And that's the front wheel. See, seven inches. And now we're going to go to the rear wheel. That one's eight inches. So that lip is, well, about two inches. Maybe a little, a hair over, two and an eighth. And the reason I'm saying that, I've seen people get these wheels mixed up. Tire shops screw them up um, because they run the same size tire front and rear on the regular production cars is a 225 50 16 it goes on the front and on the rear 
Now, if you're at a, people are at a tire shop, they're just, ro they'll rotate them without knowing. So I've seen people buy these cars and the fronts are too far inboard and the people are fussing about the rears rubbing because the offset's different. Um, so just uh, know that the fronts are actually supposed to have a bigger lip on the uh, 87 to 91 Celines. And that's the regular production cars. This is, again, does not include the SSC, does not include the SC, does not include the uh, 88 SA5. Those, are, those cars are, uh, uh, an out, are a different production model. This is just for your regular production cars from 87 to 91. This also includes, this also includes the mesh wheels. The wheel is actually a two-piece wheel. And by that, it is a, a barrel that is welded to the center, or the center <laughs> is welded to the barrel. This is a common practice, and it's still done to this day. This it's a very common. Uh, common practice in these wheels to have that it makes them lighter they're not forged it's worth noting that this design this specific design was actually made in a cast wheel by Ronal that wheel was used on a Mercedes uh, late 70s, early 80s. Um, it's a one-piece wheel, though. It is not a two-piece wheel. The Celine wheels that were used in production were a two-piece wheel, American Racing. Uh, Ronal did make wheels that would fit the Mustang, but it is uh, wouldn't be a production cur a production line correct wheel. These are the wheels that were used on the 87 to 91 production, regular production Celines. Let's look at offsets. Let's show what's different. Here we have a front wheel. This is a uh, seven inch wheel. Let's just show, see, from bead to bead, remember? It's a seven inch wheel. And the back spacing on this one is four and three eighths of an inch. It's four and three eighths. So on a Celine front wheel, the back spacing is four and three eighths. Approximately go by, you know, there could be a slight difference in production as far as the lip of the wheel, you also could have had a wheel that's been repaired. It's likely this one could have been, and it would change your backspacing distance if this lip has been worked on. Um, and it kind of looks like this one has been, in truth. Um, but either way, four and three eighths, and we'll just say we'll give and give or take just a small. Give yourself a thirty second um, or another sixteenth. A variation there. Uh, I'm sure, there are production tolerances that are that tight as far as millimeters. This is a rear wheel. See, it's eight inches. Eight inches wide, so this is a rear wheel, and I know it's a correct Celine wheel because it came off of a an '89 Celine. Um, I know it was an '89, but this this wheel, the back spacing is uh, five five and eleven sixteenths is the back spacing. Make sure my tape measure is not messed up. Yeah. 
5 and 11 sixteenths. Now again, give or take a sixteenth or a thirty-second. It's very possible that there are some variances in that. And if you're if you're a millimeter or less, give one way or the other. It's it's not going to matter in a regular production uh, situation. Okay, I'm going to interrupt the video for a second because if you like this design and if you want one of these shirts, you can go to purestmotorsports.com, click on shop, and there's a whole store of shirts that are logo shirts or specific designs for some of our Fox Helene's. We've got a couple of new designs for you to check out. So if you want a shirt like this, Check that out, go into the store. Again, purismotorsports.com, click on store, and there's a bunch of stuff. You can find the Formula GP decals for your shocks and struts there. For the light 93 to 95 Lightnings and for the Formula GP equipped Celine Mustangs from uh, the Aero cars. So go to there and check that out. Again, purismotorsports.com and click on shop. The three-piece stern market, you're, if you're looking for those wheels, and, and you're, you're spending money, you're gonna spend uh, anywhere from four to $6,000. It's, it's just crazy. I've built several sets over the years. I've got some specifics to share with you guys. Hear me out. Not all three-piece sterns are created equal. It is very important, if you're looking for your Celine Mustang and you want it to look like this car right here, to have that look, with that kind of lip there and there, it has to be a specific set of parts to create that wheel. It is not something that you can get just put together and pray that it works and that it looks right. The key is specific parts. In other words, the outer lip is a specific width, the inner lip is a specific width, and the center section has to be a specific thickness. That creates the offset that you're looking for. That needs to happen to create that look. Now, that doesn't mean that there are wheels out there that wouldn't fit your car. It just means that to get that look right there, to get that look, that specific Celine setup that they put on the cars, which I think was only like 14 production cars, to get that look, it has to be a specific set of parts for three-piece sterns. Again, that doesn't mean you couldn't find a set that wouldn't bolt on, it's just not gonna sit in the same spot in the fender well, and it's not gonna give you the same exact lip that this, I guess, Celine is known for, the Celine cars are known for. So, um, so the, the back spacing on the wheel So that's that. The barrels on the inside, the front ones are seven inch and the outer lips are two inch. And that's the total width of that barrel from the lip edge to the B, that, that seal surface in the middle. I guess you say the seven inch and the two inch make up the total nine inch from edge to edge up front, which makes your eight inch wheel. So the rear, the rear wheel is gonna be 10 inches wide overall and the Celine spec barrel and hoop for that, and I say barrel, barrels, I say inside and the hoop is the outside cause it's, it's smaller. Um, some people call them barrels all together, but to get the 10 inch wide, rear and the correct barrel and hoop for that setup the hoop on the outside which has the lip is two and a half inches and the inner which would be the inner barrel inside the wheel is seven and a half inches that gives you 10 inches overall which is your nine inch wheel in the back and then the, so the center section the thickness of that bolted in is what determines the back, proper back spacing for you on that. Um, that's 
Having built several of these, I've built a set of 18 inch three piece sterns. I've built several sets of 17s uh, 12 to 15 years ago. And uh, nowadays they're just, they're, there's only so much out there. You, they, they could be built over time. And there are a lot of people doing it dating back probably 20 plus years um, because you could buy those sets discounted uh, after people didn't want them, especially when 19s and 20 inch rims started coming out 10 years ago. But that's this, the three piece sturge. Thank you.